After the release of Nightmare on Elm Street, Craven directed some television before directing the 1986 release of Deadly Friend, starring Christy Swanson and Matthew Laberto. The film did not advance Craven's reputation, nor did it do much business, a fact that he blames on what was happening in his personal life at the time. I'll tell you what happened in the year of making Deadly Friend. I uh, discovered, uh, to put it uh, discreetly, that my marriage was no longer anything but a sham. Uh, I was uh, supposed to be directing next Beetlejuice, and uh, about two months into preparation for that, I was yanked from it. Um, I was supposed to direct um, Superman 4. I was had an interview with Christopher Reeves, and he said, Wes Craven will never direct my film. <laughs> um, I was being sued for about $30 million by somebody who thought that I had copied uh, a script that was so different from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street that you can't believe, but I was being sued, and I, I was not, at that time, covered by the errors and omission policy, and New Line was letting me fruit and dangle in the wind. Uh, all of that was going on at the time when I was uh, directing that film. This is going to sound sick. My most favorite scene in the movie... Um was uh, we had an actress uh, uh, by the name of Ann Ramsey, and she was the nasty old lady across the street. And I come back to kill her. I basically throw a basketball at her head, and her head explodes, and it's pretty gruesome, and her body walks around and headless, and <laughs> it's just sick. I was also my first big studio film, and there was about 20 producers on it, and they all had different opinions. So it was like, I'm amazed that anything came out of that film. <laughs> is watchable whatsoever. Mm -hmm.